my face is not bleeding. Hey, Rice Krispie. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Ginger Beer from Cousin Gaming and Lord Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> and the bearded one. <laughs> and today we're going to start our uh, new series called uh, KGTS, Clism Talk Show Shit, whatever, right? Yeah. I right, so Game and Talk Show. Today we're going to... Um, do uh, the first video is uh, it's called Watch Dogs. I don't know if you guys saw it already, but basically, long story short, it's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto esque kind of game, and uh, you hack shit. It's kind of cool. Heck. So, uh, for copyright infringement reasons, I cannot show you the video on this podcast. So, I will link the description, and you guys can watch it yourself and basically go along with what we're saying. So, we're gonna start it right now. Okay. I'm playing. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Yo, man, this guy walking down the street looks like a total badass. Don't go ahead. I'm at, like, 12 seconds. Hey, man. Yeah, me too. Just saying. An Ubisoft Montreal production. How Ubisoft guys just makes really Peggy? good games. The whole city's made of lights. Yeah, it takes so. place in Chicago, too. Oh, it's Chicago? I forgot about that. Joseph DeMarco. That's our target. Solicitation of murder. Acquitted. The how do you think he did? Fucking killed someone. What do you well, think? Murdered bitches. Well, calm your titties. Uh, the inevitable. Oh yeah. You can't hide from me. me. Kind of looks like Steelport from okay. Saints Row the Third. Expose you to the world. Oh man, Lady in Alley, I wonder what's gonna happen to her. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Hey. <laughs> Alright, well, so it basically first starts good. off with this guy's walking and he's got a really elaborate map to his right. He's just being all badass. Guy's trench coat and everything. Just walking down the streets of Chicago. Oh, what the hell was that? Everyone's, like, flipping out. What well, the thing that he does with his ring? Yeah. It looks like a Spider-Man thing. He just hacked everyone's cell phone. Oh, yeah, so we can, like, cool. intercept their conversations. Okay, so, so this... Of this course, like, every single out. video game character, he looks both ways. Yeah. He looks both ways before crossing the street. So in this section right here, he's going to use his hacking powers with his cell phone to get past security to enter this club. You mean, Let's watch. What's a club called? Like Jam Communications. Dot? Yeah. Dot. So see this bouncer right here? He's going to access his Jam Communications. He's going to jam the dude's phone. And of course everyone's on their cell phone at the point. Yeah, everyone's on yeah, their I cell phone. Yeah, I know. Like, what the hell? So now the bouncer gets distracted because his signal's gone out, so he can just slip by him and enter the club undetected. I know. Oh, oh man, why is John Davidson up nope, on the Oh, that's screen? Joseph DeMarco. John Davidson. <laughs> no, that's the guy that he's got to go after. Yeah, of course they have BBM. <laughs> no, that's a QR code. Oh, what the? Wow, that guy's wearing... <laughs> he's wearing the QR code hat. <laughs> that's funny. He's wearing it on his face. And throughout this video, you can see them at, like, the bar. The bartenders are all wearing it. Advertisements, man. Yeah, I know. So now he's just like scuttling around the club, looking like a bouse. Looking for shit to hack, I guess. What cutscene? What's he doing? And then some guy comes up to him, he's like, Who the fuck is you? What the fuck you doing? I wonder who she is. That's a guy. Modern art museums equal suckitude. I know it's a guy, but he don't, I like what he's saying. He says she's oiled, she's perfect, and hey man, she's oiled. <laughs> she <laughs> got for some all sex up. and titties. Nah, he's just being a this shit show called Modern Art. Fucking god awful. Yeah, it looks like a bar. It's not even an art gallery. 
That's what one Marinard is. It looks nothing like it should. That's just a bar and like a wine drinking place. <laughs> Up and he gives him a gun. So long story short, he talks about how he's got to go kill this guy, and then he's like, "Here, here's your charity of a gun," and he takes the gun and goes and uses it. Hey, here, you want to go kill someone? Here's some free weaponry. Go do it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh damn. There's a random black man or lady with blonde hair. You rarely see that. No, that's a lady. Basically, he's got to go hack everyone to see if he can find out who she is. So you got to identify Demarco's associate. Oh, I remember this part, yeah. He can, like, hack the databases to find information on everyone in the room. Yep. Hi. Yo, this hacking screen stuff, like, when it comes up, it totally reminds me of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, because it's, it's Ubisoft it's, yeah, that made it. Ubisoft, yeah, it's yeah. like the, uh... HIV positive, did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> that guy's got some problems. Right, right before the final guy, I was like, HIV positive. He's at your show. Oh man, she's she's uncovering his location. Uh huh. And they're like, "Don't let him out." Yeah, don't let him escape. I'm gonna be there in like five did minutes. Do you see what she was doing with her iPad? She put it off to the side and just like hung it, like right by her hip. Like you don't do that on an iPad. That expensive oh. piece of Apple oh. technology. Here comes the security. Fucking oh, run! Okay. Here comes the bouncer. Get the fuck out of there! Oh, shit. So there's like blood type A, foster parent, outstanding foster loans, parent. military oh. visit, military oh. reserve. Oh, damn! Oh, it's probability seventy-seven. Look at B of ass with a nightstick. <laughs> I want a nightstick. Yeah, this guy's badass. I like how he just opens the door with his body. <laughs> yeah, like every Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, he just pushes <laughs> the door open with his shoulder. Now it's fucking raining. And of course the security's not even following him either. They nope. just like gave up. He just knocks this, that one guy rain, out. Like, Fuck, we don't want anything to do with realistic. him. Alright, so watch this part up here. This is really cool because most video games you can't do this, and this is the good reason why this makes this a uh, unique video game. So he takes out his gun, puts his mask on, really doesn't matter. If you see the thing here, you can control train and traffic lights. He's going to control the traffic light, and the guy's the off in the distance down the there. So, boop. And it's a green light for him, and total Bam. creates a giant car crash, freaking accident. Jesus Christ. And then now here's where the shit hits the fan. Mm -hmm. Creates a giant epidemic just to get to the target. And the gas station was on fire to the... Yeah, the gas station's randomly on fire. Right off to the right. Oh. <laughs> it's almost it's like time so shift, where they just like slow down the fucking time and shoot everyone. It's like Red Dead and Red Dead Redemption. Oh, damn. Guy took it too I'm just going to say this right now. When you have a video game character that's wearing a fucking trench coat, he's badass. Straight oh, yeah. Oh, now we're going to rest. Let me save you, but I'm going to, like, beat your ass. <laughs> Bitch, get out of the car. Oh, wait, she's dead. And run around like a giant. Okay, so he's idiot. making his way around the car to get to the target. Still oh. more henchmen shooting at him. Oh, shit! Freaking right on the hood of the car. Bam! Fucking taxi! Oh, shit, there's the fucking gas station. It's gonna blow up soon. Oh, damn, bro. He's got his objective right there to the right, but he's gotta make it more badass, oh. so... Giant explosion. I want this game. <laughs> This is a, this is an easy sell right here. The trailer, just watching it, like actually gonna go up to the target. So he bashes the window in, grabs him. Get out of the car, bitch. Let's hear what he has to say. Judo flip. Joseph DeMarco. Sounds like every other mob boss. <laughs> Kiss my ass. And he shoots him right in the face. Yeah. Slap. Fucking and half the half And the then, of street. course, he gets nerdy, so he's got the cops following him. Half the street's on fire. doesn't give a fuck. Remember 
And then he just, oh, here go, here's where the GTA gameplay comes in. Hack, yeah. Hijack and rain. See, just, just watching this gameplay now, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think this is like the first mission because I really hope this is a sandbox game. It'd be really depressing if it wasn't a sandbox oh, game. Oh man, and then the epic bridge jump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That just sold me right now there. Now the city is made of light bright again. <laughs> I love light bright. <laughs> when I'm, the I'm title so comes up, Watch Dogs, and it's an by Ubisoft. Everything is connected, connection is power. So basically, uh, that was really sick because it's unique and you can fucking hack everything and shit. What do you guys think? That was pretty sick, right? Fuck I think it. it's really creative with the way, it, you know, with the way everything moves and the whole concept of hacking things in the environment to progress missions. I think it's really creative. Yeah. I don't think any other game has really done that. Yeah, because, uh, well, stereotypically, it's like, whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row, it's always just, like, beat Walk someone around in a car and, and go pick up strippers or hookers or whatever you want to do. Have sex in the parking lot. Yeah, you and know. then, like, this game, hopefully it's a sandbox because I have no idea. I just watched the the gameplay. Well, I assume it would be, like, an open world kind of thing. Hopefully. And Ubisoft, this is actually new for Ubisoft because Ubisoft's never made a Grand Theft Auto-esque kind of game. No, they haven't. All their games have been, like, really linear. Indeed so. They've all been objective. Yeah, basically like objective based. Like Tom Tom Clancy, Rambo Six, <laughs> you go around, it's just like a story mode kind of thing. And uh well uh Ubisoft does do a lot of sandbox games like Assassin's Creed. Like Assassin's Creed, you know. And um like Spl well Splinter almost Splinter Cell's like not really Splinter Cell one. Well, Splinter, Splinter, Splinter Cell is funny. but it's not. It's more objective than it would be sandbox. Yeah. Okay, I just looked this up, and Watch Dogs is open world, so it is a sandbox. Sick. That's what well, we that is. That There's is your beautiful. Because if it's you have a game like idea. this, then you're going to want sandbox, and if it's not sandbox, then people are just going to play it for the story, and nothing's going to happen, you know what I mean? Well, the story looks like it'd be really interesting, something that would, like, immerse the player. Yeah, but hopefully it's, like, more than a 10-hour gameplay instead of, like, a, oh, we're just going to have five missions and you're going to fucking play the shit out of it over and over again. <laughs> I hope, like, I hope kind of like a GTA kind of thing, this game would be, like, really, like, a lengthy does it, experience. Does it say the release platforms, or? Uh, well, it's definitely coming out on, like, 360 PS3 PC, you know. Let me search it up again. Yeah, as long as it comes out for the 360, I'm good. Okay, Microsoft Windows, PS3, and 360, those are all confirmed. No word on Wii U yet, but I assume they would port it at some point. Freaking Wii U. But uh, it's a good thing that it's a multi-platform uh, game, because if it's uh, the graphics actually look like it would be straight up PS3, which uh, isn't bad for most people, because PS3 is made strictly for graphics and not for the games. But, I mean, with a game like this, you're going to want it on all systems. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. Mom is Ginger Beard from Clism Gaming, along with Lore Hunter and the Bearded One. Bearded One. So we're going to wrap this up really quick, and uh, stay tuned, subscribe, whatever. We're going to be doing these twice a week. Oh, shit. Okay. Hopefully we can do, uh, like, more games and stuff. Uh, the upcoming games will just uh, – basically what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer – for copyright infringement reasons, we cannot show you the trailer on our uh, channel or videos. So we will YouTube link you works. in the description. And uh, you can watch it along with us as we speak. Sounds fun. So we'll see you guys next episode. Later. Bye, everyone. Sounds like we're going to have a gay old time. <laughs> Not just you.